Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we are on January 26th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to, of course, the Daily Dew where we look at the latest for space weather, world weather and earthquakes, volcanoes. Looking here at the last 48 hours incoming images do have a northern sunspot and as well a southern coronal hole. Looking at outgoing images here, 304 angstroms. And we did have some space weather affect us overnight, brought our solar winds up to 600 kilometers per second. Looking here at another night and at another light, and you can really see the coronal hole that will be incoming and facing us again. And that is what produced the space weather overnight was the last coronal hole. Looking here at another image, that's pretty spastic, small sunspot outgoing. And kind of seems like this northern small sunspot is acting in the same way, a little bit spastic, but small. Looking here now, this is our magnetosphere, our planet there being in the center, being affected by the solar winds. So looking here, the solar winds packed a punch last night up to 600 kilometers per second. And you can see there was a lot of pressure and we had a lot of earthquakes around the planet that ensued after all of this. This is the density. Looking here at our real, real time solar wind, as you can see here, up to 600 kilometers per second. And now we're at about 540 kilometers and steady at 540. Having a look at the Schumann resonance, and here we go again, a power of 70, and we are off the charts. Just look at this. Now, a correlation possibly to larger seismic activity to come over the next 24 hours. Base frequency quality of 10.10 .10. power of 8 looking here at earthquakes last 24 hours seeing a lot of increased activity through Alaska as we've been expecting large lows pounding the coastlines there but yeah largest being a 4.8 as well at 4.3 and as far north as Pedro's Bay United States a lot of small rumbles recorded today so they're not reported here but these were the five earthquakes that were reported in the region Stanley Idaho Redwood Valley California as well 2.6 here Fern Forest Hawaii so Pacific Plate Ring of Fire very busy right now seeing a bunch of fours through Kiri Islands and as well Japan and through Mariana Trench the western side the western ridge of Mariana's Trench two sizable and deep earthquakes 4.5 and a 4.6 and as well a notable deep earthquake East Timor Indonesia 4.3 almost 400 kilometer depth Solomon Islands seeing a lot of earthquakes today as well Fiji Islands 575 kilometer depth so that's our deepest deepest earthquake the last 24 hours and as well New Zealand 4.3 
Now, not all earthquakes are being reported here on this particular app, but there are many sites that keep track of all the earthquakes overlooking South America right now, Argentina and Chile, seeing some fours, almost five in Chile. And as well, Puerto Rico, the Caribbean plate, still seeing minor rumbles. Notable 4.4 here in Spain, and there was at least two more reported, not being reported on this map. As well, Greece rocking yesterday with a 4.1, 4.9 today in Syria. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Seeing an increased activity across West Ring of Fire and as well into the Eurasia plate line. After seeing some sizable movements through Antarctica and Chile. A very quiet North America. Be ready on the Cascades. That's just too quiet for my liking. Looking at all the deep earthquakes all over the place and we haven't seen a 6 or a 7. And we're looking at a very quiet region through the Philippines as well. So Philippines, Pacific Plate, and as well North American Plate, stay aware and prepared and be ready. Because after these solar winds calm down, I think things are really going to let loose. Increased activity across the African Plate into Europe. And that was the last seven days for earthquakes. Let's have a look at all of the volcanoes that have just been updated today with the Pacific Disaster Center. Looking here, Sangay in Ecuador. Uh, some avalanches being reported in New Mexico and Utah and in already Northern California. Merapi Volcano, Indonesia, and Popo in Mexico. Sabincaya in Peru. Fuego, Guatemala. Dacono, Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, Era in Japan, Kluchevskoy in Russia, Suez de Najima, Japan, Ranga, Indonesia, Shevalich, Menam, Pekaya, Merapi. Very active. Volcanic activity report coming tomorrow. I do have to go to work tomorrow, so please. Stay tuned to Morning Dew, and tomorrow night we'll have the volc volcanic activity report, full report on all volcanoes erupting from around the world. And looking here at the Pacific Ocean, and already things start to really cool off across Canada. Through the prairies, extreme cold warnings now going out, Manitoba, Saskatchewan. Winter storm warnings across the West Coast. As we've been talking about for the past few days, I'm happy that I was able to give a lot of people heads up about this snowstorm that is incoming. And you have just to see the brunt of it yet. So tomorrow and into Thursday is when the big snowfall will be coming to most of the Sierra Nevadas, Oregon. It's already moving in. And there's one and two. That'll be a weather maker for Colorado and eastward. But still, very intense Atlantic right now, as well as the Pacific. More so this the Pacific. These intense low pressure systems coming out of China are very suspicious. Looking here at the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth, Media Mike. Starting out here at Calgary, Alberta, as yes, it is very cold. Minus 16, minus 22 with the wind chill. And you can see here, not much precipitation, just very cold air. A lot of the precipitations moving southward. Low pressure systems riding through the Pacific down Alaska and into the BC coast and Washington, southward into California. Cold, high-pressure polar vortex across Hudson Bay and westward into Alaska is really going to dry things out across Canada. And we're already covered in snow. Hudson's Bay is almost covered in ice. 
we are really seeing winter settle in now and we're almost uh, at groundhog day um okay okay overlooking central states watch for extreme weather system to affect you guys what is that tuesday monday into tuesday or no saturday into sunday and it could be a doozy of a storm we'll be keeping an eye on that overlooking the atlantic ocean just a large low pressure system spinning over and over and breaking off low pressure systems eastward into europe kind of a rain train happening throughout the united kingdom right now with those systems and as well turkey parts of turkey and northward into russia seeing heavy heavy amounts of snow as they've seen days upon days of snow through some regions there and you can see warm temperatures still kind of hanging around through europe and later in the forecast things will cool off for maybe the united kingdom overlooking africa low pressure center still just kind of spinning around throughout the week going to intensify the daily evaporation rains of course and then south america we do have some extreme weather watches for sure argentina border with the brazil bolivia through paraguay especially later in the week here through argentina chile border and border with brazil overlooking the possible tripo tropical cyclone that will be forming for fiji and parts of vanuatu later in the week as well very strong low moving into parts of fiji right now and as well low pressure systems affecting northern parts of the continent here in australia and as well a wicked quick little low moving into southeastern parts of australia victoria and tasmania and that's going to bring some moisture as far north as brisbane across malaysia southeastern uh, asia no cyclones to talk about i'll leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern as the very dramatic low pressure systems high pressure systems that have developed and that are still developing we're going to be keeping an eye on that that's what morning dew is here for daily events worldwide keeping you aware and prepared to this monstrous low pressure system in the atlantic or the Ant the antarctic and then the very cold polar vortex that is really starting to settle in across the northern hemisphere look at the size of this low pressure system pacific ocean later in the week following the same track that the few, last few low pressure systems have followed so stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due bye bye now thanks for watching if you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world